Hello, my name is Ryan Gopperson, and I'm a leadership development consultant that specializes in helping organizations vertically develop their leaders, primarily through a focus on mindsets. I'll make that come to life for you here in just a moment. I'm also a leadership professor at Cal State Fullerton, and I'm the Wall Street Journal and USA Today bestselling author of the books, Success Mindsets, and my new book, The Elevated Leader, Level Up Your Leadership Through Vertical Development. And what I wanna walk you through in this video is how I work with organizations to develop larger groups of leaders. So I do some work with executive teams, and then how I work with larger groups of leaders is I generally do a leadership development workshop series. So these groups of leaders could be, usually again, they're not at the executive level. This doesn't usually involve coaching, although we can add that in. This is usually for leaders maybe at that VP level. We've got a number of those and we wanna, we wanna help all of them develop. Or maybe it's mid-level managers. We wanna help all of them develop. Or maybe it's a certain division or department and we wanna focus on all of those leaders in that division. And usually what I do when I'm working with these groups for more than just a one-off workshop is I'm generally doing a leadership development workshop series with the primary focus on helping leaders vertically develop. I'll walk you through what that is and why it's important. In fact, what exactly what I wanna walk you through is why this leadership development series is needed, what it generally works with, looks like, and what value leaders and organizations get from engaging with me in this workshop series. So let's start with this first question here. Why is this series needed? And I'm gonna answer it in two different ways. The first way is I wanna introduce what I find to be a really interesting leadership paradox. And that is, what I find is that essentially all leaders are trying their best to be effective for their organizations and their teams. I've really yet to meet a leader who isn't focused on helping and contributing and adding value. But despite these good intentions, there's some really interesting statistics out there, such as 60% of employees report that their direct leader damages their self-esteem. And 71% of organizations cannot agree that their current leaders are going to lead the organization successfully into the future. There is a disconnect. This is a really interesting paradox to me. And what we wanna do is we wanna allow our leaders best intentions to be aligned with what actually occurs. You see, and then the other way that I wanna answer this is I wanna just recognize what has gone on over the last couple of years. What we have seen is complexity has gone through the roof. And then we've got to ask ourselves, has our development of our leaders kept pace with those increases in the complexity of our world? And I don't think it has. What I'm finding is that in organizations is that they are running on a leadership deficit. Leaders' ability to navigate complexity falls below the complexity that their organization or their teams or their departments are currently facing. And the fallout of this is that there is stress and anxiety. That abounds not just with the leaders, but everybody before, below them. Similarly with burnout, we're feeling like we're having to walk through mud to get where we wanna go, and then turnover is really prevalent. If you're seeing these things going on in your organization, it's likely that a leadership deficit has occurred. And so if we want to address these things, we need to take an approach that is actually different than normal. Our normal approach to leadership development can be classified as horizontal development, but that is very different than vertical development. And vertical development is something I think all organizations want, but not a whole lot of organizations know what it is or how to do it. And that's part of this workshop series. So just to define this, horizontal development is adding new knowledge, skills, and competencies to what we have. The focus here is to help us to be able to do more. It's kind of like adding an app onto an iPad. Adding an app will broaden the iPad's functionality, but when we add an app onto an iPad, that doesn't make the op iPad operate any more effectively. 
If we want that in our leaders, we've got to engage in vertical development. Vertical development is upgrading our leaders' internal operating systems. The focus here is to help them not just to do more, but to be better. The technical definition is elevating our ability to make meaning of our world in more cognitively and emotionally sophisticated ways, such as how do we see failure? Do we see it as an indictment against us that I'm a failure? Or is failure an opportunity to learn and grow? And here's what I've learned, is that leaders who see failure as an indictment against them, they will continue to hold on to what has worked in the past and they will become unwilling to let go of it and embrace what is going to work in the future. Those who make meaning of failure in that way, they get stagnant in what's going on. And that's one of the biggest issues that I see facing leaders today. And it's, in, it's inhibiting them from navigating into this more complex world more effectively. So that's what we're after, is we wanna help our leaders to vertically develop. Well, what does this series typically look like? Well, the first part of this series is to focus on self-leadership. We wanna look inward, and we do this in two ways. We first start with vertical development, introducing what it is, that there are three different mind levels, and we want them to get a sense of where they're currently operating from, so they can see where they're at and where they need to go, and then we'll talk about how we get there. Well, how we get there, how we vertically develop, is through a focus on mindsets. Usually in a second session, we'll talk about what are mindsets, what mindsets are out there, and what mindsets do we have. And what I have along with this are self-assessments for both of these things, our vertical altitude as well as our mindsets. And this allows me to put together a coll collective report on each of these factors. I'll show you some examples here in just a second. And then the culmination of this is we want them to walk away with personal vertical development plans. So let me show you an example of some of these collective reports. This is with a group of 11 leaders, and I, we looked at their vertical development assessment results. And what we found is that two thirds of these leaders are operating at the lowest level of vertical development. Only one third is operating at that second level. I'll call those progress makers, and nobody's operating in that third level, what I call value creators. I'll show you a figure at the very end of this that depicts that. So clearly we could see is we're just not operating at a really high level with this particular team. When we looked at their mindsets, here's what we found is that they were fixed minded, closed minded and prevention minded. They didn't, they were focused on avoiding problems. They were focused on being right. We got a command and control leadership and they're focused on avoiding failure and looking bad. They are holding on to what's worked in the past. They are unwilling to embrace what will work in the future. Thus, this team has gotten really stagnant. That's part of the reason why they brought me in is they recognize this. They needed to, they need and continue need to need to awaken to this. And I'm currently in the process of helping them do that. So that's the first step that we engage in is vertical development and mindsets. But then we start to turn more outward. Instead of self-leadership, this is now other leadership. And what I try to answer in a series of workshops is how do the most vertically developed leaders operate? What do they do differently from other leaders? And we're gonna pull in case studies from some of the most transformative leaders that I've studied uh, and that I'm aware of. These are leaders like Satya Nadella at Microsoft, Alan Mulally at Ford, Ed Catmull at Pixar and Disney Animation, Indra Nui at Pepsi, Reed Hoffman at Netflix. These are some very transformational leaders that seem to be operating at that highest mind 3.0 value creator level. We wanna see what do they do differently and can we replicate some of the things that they do? And the answer is yes, we can. But they prioritize specific things differently than less vertically developed leaders. The things that they prioritize are purpose, values, and psychological safety. So usually what I do in this workshop series is we have a workshop on each of these. We dive into these. We get them to think critically about this. We get them to evaluate how they're doing and we help them to move forward in each of these levels so that they could create the right foundation for their leadership. Well, what value do leaders and organizations get from this? Well, 
one of the biggest things is leaders walk away with a deeper level of self-awareness. Here's one of the things that I've learned is that the deeper we go inward, the higher we can go in terms of how we operate as a leader, what vertical altitude we operate from. So this is huge. I get leaders who tell me, I wasn't expecting a whole lot of, out of this, but now that I've been through it, I think about these principles every single day. It's huge. And then this empowers them to both elevate themselves, but also to catapult their groups higher, faster, and further. And what I mean by this is they operate at a higher level. They operate more efficiently and they're more long-term focused as opposed to short-term focused. And one of the things that we've seen in other groups I've worked with is more than 30% shifts in collective mindsets. Let me give you an example of one of my clients. What we found is we, we looked at our mindset assessment in time one in May and then in September. We see some really significant shifts. I mean, they're going from 33% growth to 53% growth. That's a 40% swing on that mindset. We see almost that same swing on this open mindsets and outward mindsets. We didn't see as much with this promotion mindsets, which one of the things unique to this organization is I think they had some organizational incentives that really held people back there. So that allowed us something to focus in on as we move forward. But the whole purpose of all of this is to get leaders to elevate from where they are at up to that highest level, that value creator level. What we know is that most leaders operate as progress makers, but we need them to operate as value creators. And this is a workshop series that allows us to help make some changes in that regard across a set of leaders or a group of leaders. So um, if you're interested in doing any of this work, please let me know. We'd be happy to talk you through it in greater detail and see how we could customize it so that your organization could get the most out of it. Thanks.